understanding from you on Hyundai IPO. Uh, I remember discussing it with you before the pricing had actually come in and we were trying to understand, you know, how will this change the landscape in the Indian automotive industry. Now that the pricing has come in, there are worries about that it's priced to perfection, leaves a very little room for the investors out there and it's off to a slow start. 18% subscription for the largest ever IPO in India on day one. How are you really looking at it? Hyundai is a, a, like Maruti Suzuki, a global company. It enjoys a parentage, uh, a, a global parentage and therefore access to R&D and uh, uh, the latest trends, technological trends that are happening outside globally. Now that is important in the car industry, which is going through a massive change, you know, electrification, battery storage, etc. And Hyundai is the second largest player in India after Maruti. It has about 13, 14 models. And then importantly, it has uh, yeah, one access to R&D of the global uh, Hyundai. Second, it is developing battery storage technologies within India. Uh, and three, it also has a range of EV models, which will f further future growth. So if you add up all this together, the company is uh, trading at, uh, will trade at the IPO price at about uh, 22, 23 times. It has a profit growth north of 20%. So for a company as large as Hyundai to trade at that kind of a growth and with an ROE, which is in the 20s, is a, is a very decent number. With all this in mind, I think uh, we uh, one should subscribe to the Hyundai because it still trades at a disc will trade at a discount to Maruti. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just a note of caution: uh, Hyundai's IPO comes at a time when Indian valuations are stretched, and of course, uh, it's the largest ever uh, that's uh, hit Indian shows twenty seven thousand crore rupees. This entire money. Uh, raised uh, by selling 17.5% equity to Indian uh, uh, shareholders is going back to South Korea. Not a single paisa is being used to expand uh, business. And what uh, uh, the South African, uh, the South Korean giant has done over the last 18 months is uh, uh, taken out a lot of dividend, a lot of royalty. And uh, at the moment, uh, Hyundai, if it wants to expand, it will have to borrow money from Indian banks. I'm sure that's a good thing ahead, but it's always, always, always better to read <coughs> the DRHP once you see uh, this kind of a huge, huge issue coming at the top of the market. Please be very careful. Even if you apply, apply at the lower price band of Hyundai. We'll